Hi, I'm Liz Suter from Malloy College. I'm an assistant professor in environmental sciences. Hi, I'm Sarah Hu. I'm a postdoc fellow at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. Hi, my name is Alexis Marshall and I'm a research fellow at the University of Waikato in New Zealand. We are going to talk to you about our very first R lesson with the Bioinformatics Virtual Coordination Network today. We all use R for pretty much everything on our computers and everything when it comes to data analysis and visualization. Uh, we usually are importing different types of data. Uh, that data originates from Excel, text files, CSV files, and sometimes even FASTA files. And those get imported to R. Um, so it replaces Excel on our computers. Uh, and our most common workflows generally be uh, taking that data table, importing it into R, wrangling the data, meaning we're fixing typos, modifying sample names, changing the layout, we're joining it with other types of data. Uh, then we perform a lot of statistical analyses uh, to create tables. Um, and then we can also do a lot of data visualization and making figures for publication. So that's kind of broadly how we use R. So up to this point, you've hopefully created a, uh, an account with RStudio Cloud. And now we're going to walk you through how to log into RStudio Cloud and then interact with our lessons and look at lesson one. Okay, so first you're gonna end up on the RStudio Cloud website. Um, so I've already signed up and I have an account and uh, so I'll go into my login here. So when you log in, uh, this is what our studio will look like. You'll see projects and uh, likely you'll have no projects. And then these are your different spaces you have and then some resources that are actually come from our studio. Um, right now, one of the spaces I have is BBCNR. Uh, once you create your RStudio login, please let us know on, um, uh, let us know what your email is and we'll make sure we invite you to actually collaborate into this space. So uh, this I'm going to demonstrate now, once you're in RStudio and have access to this BBCNR net, our uh, workspace, I'm going to show you how you're going to take those lessons and bring them to your workspace so we can um, show you how to use R. So in this uh, BBC and R uh, list of projects, we'll see lesson one. Uh, right now I'm gonna copy that because this is the, the master version and I wanna make my own copy so I can and work on the code and annotate it the way that I want as I learn R. Uh, sometimes it takes a little time to um, launch R Studio Cloud. All right, so this is what um, the RStudio uh, uh, interface looks like right now. Um, and then what you're gonna immediately do is, we've just opened this and made a copy in the BBCN uh, workspace. So let's return to that workspace. Now we'll see the original one. Uh, and then, um, sorry, this, this is the original one. And then this is the one that um, I've created. Sorry, this is the one that I've created because my uh, username is Han Solo. Uh, so this is the original one, and this is the copy. And now I want to actually move this away from this this um, shared workspace and move it into my own workspace. So that I did that, and now when we're in my workspace, now I have lesson one. So I'll launch this again, and this is what um, our studio looks like. Right here is our console. Um, if, if you've interacted with the terminal, it looks uh, it's similar to that. Uh, these are all the contents of the lesson. We'll have a readme file for each lesson that uh, has additional information of what the lesson plan will be and additional resources for you to look at beyond the lesson. And this .r file is actually the R script. So let's open that up first. Um, and that appears uh, in this case above the console. Um, so this is our lesson one script. Uh, this is provided from Liz, uh, and we're first going to kind of navigate how we actually uh, work with an R script, um, is that you can navigate to this the, a single line, 
Um, I'm running on a Mac right now, and we can I can hit Command Enter, and on line nine right now, and that sends this line uh, down to the console and executes that line of code. So what are, what's this line eight through fifteen here? These are basic operators, so we're using R Studio as a calculator right now. Um, so we can go through all of these, and it shows I'm, I'm basically performing uh, simple math, math functions um, using uh, this asterisk as a multiplication, uh, dividing, um, exponenting, and um, so uh, this is one of the ways that we um, can interact with our studio. Uh, one thing that we'll go over at this lesson in more detail, but I'll introduce now, is directionality and assigning a variable. So um, what this statement on line 18 is showing you is that we're setting um, the variable x to the number 42. And we do that by um, x and then using this caret and a dash instead of an equal sign, because that shows that there's direct directionality. That's what was meant by that. And so by executing this line, we've assigned um, x is 42. And that actually also appears in our environment where we know that um, uh, x is equal to 42. And then after we've done that, now when we execute x, uh, it prints out a 42 on our console. And that's it for now.